Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. This is a place of miracles. This is a place of encounters. This is a place of transformation. So Lord, we thank you. For you are bigger than what we say. You are better than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. Hallelujah. Bless our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Walk to 10 people, greet them, tell them it's good to see you. And then back to your seat. There is a sweet anointing in There is a still in the atmosphere Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary That's already a prophetic word for someone tonight There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary There is a stillness in the atmosphere Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. God, you are here and we thank you. Change our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Um, I have a very serious word for us tonight. It's, it's actually an explanation where to start a new series but the spirit of god would not let me start a new series there is a key that i taught in this place 
that the Lord wants me to teach it again because we need to understand it again and again the Holy Spirit kept pressing on my spirit that we ought to understand some mysteries must be taught again and again and again until our spirits pick them are we together the end of revelation is that we apply these truths and they produce results in our lives and so I'm going to be challenging us on that thought and then we will pray one of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened are we together the eyes of your understanding is not intelligence the eyes of your understanding is not intellect the eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge the eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation you can know that these mysteries exist you see revelation is not knowing what god has said revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life knowing what god has said is not revelation when you know how to make it work in your life he told job knoweth thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth amen it's important that when we come into god's presence we listen you will think that when people come into god's presence like this the fact that you are looking at me it doesn't mean you are listening are we together people can be distracted people can be careless some can be looking with their eyes open but they are sleeping are we together all kinds of things happen it was jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds some fall by the wayside correct seed correct sower some fall by the wayside some fall in the midst of thorns some fall on a rocky ground even among the good soils three kinds of results 30 fold 60 fold 100 fold may you be a hundred fold tonight in the name of jesus christ a day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power and let me tell you when that time comes you will be nothing short of a wonder everybody around you will know that the finger of god is upon your life we make impact in this world through mysteries we make impact in this world not through desire it takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom i'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray hallelujah i shared with us here for those of us who were not there please listen attentively and by the way those following us online we love you we honor you you are part of us that there are three platforms upon which impact is established please listen when god is ready to reveal himself to a man when god is ready to do business with a man upon the earth there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact platform number one encounters don't forget this they are not cheap they are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to walk with god is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirits by encounters i don't just mean visionary encounters even encounters through the word an experience that makes god real to you an experience that makes a dimension of god real to you it could be aided through a vision 
it could be aided through a supernatural experience but regardless of what platform it comes through any experience capable of making a dimension of god become real to you is called an encounter true encounters produce conviction not memory conviction a true encounter listen it doesn't just leave you with a memory it produces conviction if you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of god i will know i don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you when it is opened up to you the first sign that you had an encounter is unusual conviction it translates to faith if god gives you an encounter of his healing power it produces conviction if god gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality it must come with conviction say conviction there are so many people in the body of christ who are not convicted about the things they teach it's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint and that's important it's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint but it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction it's not by shouting it's not the volume of your voice it's not the the repetition of your grammar conviction is a realm where you're speaking your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you say encounters we must crave for encounters you know people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out of body experiences and they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of god to now begin to contend for angelic encounters heavenly encounters as above the word of god no the bible says god appeared um to samuel in shiloh by his word are we together he appeared by his word so an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says promise i was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of god to the nations and then every time you stand you say i remember what the angel said yes that's an encounter but there are men like reinhard bonke who had encounters they never had any visionary experience when you listen to reinhard bonke's story he will tell you that a day came they brought in a great man of god to preach the man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day and the morning of the second day reinhard bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people in africa if you tell people to bring the sick they are obedient they will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told reinhard bonke he said the lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place you will preach and you will heal Renard Bonke said, no, 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 no. You can't be playing. I mean, you are the great man of God. I'm only here to encourage you. And he said, I'm sorry, I have to be on my way. Renard Bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces. And then all of a sudden, that's an encounter. The word of the Lord comes. You don't read it. It comes. In the fifth day of the fifth month of this, the word of the Lord came. There's the one you try to get. But the one that comes... Is what produces encounter and renard bonke just looked and said lord i will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing and that was it a man who has produced a ministry that has liberated africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading john 3 16 but one day the word of the lord will come to you for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes jesus loves me you sang it in sunday school it was not an encounter it was a recitation but when it comes as an encounter you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah, you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together 
encounters my life is a testimony of encounters i can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may god give us encounters Amen. the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe god has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth but you are not sure you don't have encounters so you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing you lack encounters listen an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence not physical results your conviction becomes your primary evidence so god can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me yet will i trust him i know him the god in the mountain is still god in the valley let me tell you why many people gas out many pastors many preachers i've seen a lot of preachers say god sent me to so 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 city when the city became too hot and whipped them they left quietly encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small one guy came and met me one time and he said god has called him into the apostolic ministry i said congratulations a few months later it became too hot for him and he came back he said i get it now i'm an evangelist i said go. i told him i said go for a retreat a retreat that produces an encounter because he thought it's just in a name usually when it becomes too hot people change persecution <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast so you say i am prophet a and b and c and then the heavy controversy that lands on your head you quietly remove it and say i am pastor joshua selman <laughs> say encounters may god give us encounters Amen. one big secret in my life is that god used encounters to convince me of my call solid encounters both visionary encounters word encounters prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i will never even pray about it that's how certain i am when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there 
If I believe God has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are hundred wheelchairs and I pray for them and nobody gets healed, I tell them, may God bless you and uh, have a nice day. And I'll go to sleep. And someone says, but man of God, ah, it's either you are backsliding or something has happened. I will go back and challenge myself to rise greater. But I'll not go back saying, God, if it's that I didn't hear you well, can you explain to me again? No. We're laughing, but I'm, I'm trusting that God is speaking to us. Encounters. Do you know that the world follows men of conviction? If I am a thief today, there is a, there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say, look, this guy knows what he's doing. He's worth hearing. Terrorists are men of encounter and conviction. They have met spirits. The spirits told them certain things. So while the government is trying to advise them and say, why don't you become nice social beings? They say, all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you. And you say, are you sure you will do this? Yes. What of your life? What of your wife and your family? And they say, to hell with them. Conviction from an encounter. What encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence? Oh, I saw God give a Jimmy this. It's not enough reason. You must have a personal encounter. We lack this a lot. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. We lack this a lot in the body of Christ. You can borrow Joshua Selman's revelation. Listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out. And preach in a conference. And say, God said there is this and that and that. But you know, there is a way people look through you. And they see that even you as you are preaching, you are just saying, Lord, I hope I'm right. I'm about to pray. Joshua Selman prayed after that message. And now I'm about to pray after my own. Then you stand and speak and say, I see angels everywhere. Whether or not you are seeing them. Because you thought I was lying. So now you say, I see angels. Overflow, are you ready? Say yes. No encounter. That's how preachers disgrace themselves. Convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results. Someone can guide you, but the ultimate journey is that you meet Christ. You meet him, not just theologically, but you have an encounter. Say amen. amen. It's good to know the God of Joshua Selman. But stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. In the name of Jesus, may God give us encounters over your business, over your life, over your family, so that when you go and you look at your CGPA and you look at it from 4.5, God forbid, but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers, you don't suddenly say, ah, and God said, I'll be a leader. God, you must come and... You see, some prayers are are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay I watch preachers talk sometimes and I'm saying, be careful though. Jesus is Lord, but his Lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding. If you are not healed in this meeting, except I'm not called. Hey. At the end of the meeting, only two people are healed. Encounters. Encounters. I crave for them. I create the atmosphere for them. I desire them in my life. Encounters. It's not about reading the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. 
it's not about quoting scripture as important as it is it's not about a display of greek and hebrew words encounters produce convictions convictions produce faith faith moves mountains it's not what you do is the conviction behind what you do number two the second platform upon which men do business with God is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom. An encounter is one. You meet a person in an encounter. But you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom. Is God helping us tonight? Your knowledge of the principles, the working knowledge of the principles of the word of God is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact. So what principles do you know? It says, and I will give you the keys. Right? And whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, King James says. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amplified says, whatever you allow, whatever you disallow, the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of David. Your life, there is a dimension of impact in your life. Hear me, brothers and sisters, that is a product of the mysteries that you know. This is what I define as dominion. You've heard me say it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. We've spent this year, as much as many other years, dissecting these mysteries. Under the teaching secrets of the kingdom, the series, get it, secrets of the kingdom, right? I taught you six mysteries that control mighty, dramatic manifestations upon the earth. Mystery number one, I taught you is the law of surrender. The law of surrender. That this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people. Complete surrender. Complete surrender. Mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind. For as he thinketh in his heart, right? So, he's, so he is. I told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm. So you never try to change anything by physically trying to alter it. You alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes. Mystery number three is the law of competence. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He says, He shall not stand before mean men, he shall stand before kings. Are we together? We we did this very, very mystery number four. I explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways. Acknowledge him. And he will make straight your path. That's what the Bible says. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. A time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure. You don't know anything about that challenge, nor how to go out. At that time, the key is to acknowledge him. He says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Praise is a weapon for acknowledgement. So as you begin to acknowledge him, there is a promise attached. He said he will make straight your path. Mystery number five is the mystery, I call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers. Men and women anointed, commanded, instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level. I'm doing a recap. It, it, please, I, I don't know how to plead with you. Believe what I'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life. There are three kinds of destiny helpers I shared with us the other time. Number one, they are called divine connectors. They do not have the ability to help you, 
but they can link you to where your help is divine connectors number two men of influence they have the capacity both the economic power both the governmental power right the intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you an example of such a person is joseph of arimathea a man who through his influence jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb you need them and then number three faithful men the third kind of destiny helpers faithful men 400 of these men came to david david was running he was a failure he was broke he was on his way ministry had packed up but 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king and then the last mystery which in my opinion is the most powerful maybe secondary to only an encounter is the law of honor hebrews 7 7 and without all contradiction the less is blessed of the greater i told you that there is a system in the body of christ nobody blesses himself you cannot lift yourself to a new dimension are we together no matter how anointed you are no matter how great you are at every point in your life there are people below you trusting god for your grace to lift them there are people above you there are those who already represent what your future aspirations are and there are people who you represent their future aspiration the recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly there are human beings that represent systems the recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities god has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality honor is the key to access every time a door closes over your life this honor closed it and every time a door opens over you honor opened it so there are many other mysteries that we have to learn i can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery one of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly now you read these things as verses until god opens your eyes then you will see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly to be friendly does not mean to be a clown to be friendly means to be hospitable are we together it says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it many have entertained angels unaware it was through hospitality sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of sodom and gomorrah and it was on the strength of that hospitality that abraham was given access to that mystery and with it he rescued lot praise the lord the third platform upon which men receive from god and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection covenant connection covenant connection may god make us believe what i'm sharing may god make us believe it may god make us believe it in the name of jesus christ covenant connection the bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sit in the sin the seat of the scornful he says but his delight what is in the law of the lord and on that law he meditates day and night then he says he shall be this is how his success will be in the similitude of that of a tree if the bible says you shall be like something study that thing it says the success of a believer will be like that of a tree how does a tree rise number one it is planted from the stem that rises branches begin to come all branches do not move in the same direction but regardless of their direction 
the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to they may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall taller than buildings and the trees can stand for years and decades branches fall and rise they are pruned and they come again but the stem connected to the root remains intact any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies you don't water the branches you water the roots and it has a system are we together trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time a system so he said he shall be like a tree listen our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant please you have to understand this our personal work with God is based on relationship however kingdom advancement is based on covenant not the covenant of Moses not the covenant of the New Testament I'm not talking old and new covenant a covenant is a system through which God guarantees a continuity of his program now listen listen look up please let me teach you this get it get it in the name of Jesus Christ the way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment please listen so what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of god are we together so every dispensation has a dimension of god earmarked for them to experience but the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when god wants to come in in a dimension to a territory and a dispensation his first assignment is to find a man say a man when he finds a man he enters a personal covenant with that man that personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of god is revealed to the dispensation no other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with god are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system. Are we together? The yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace it has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness it is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel so god calls men every time you are talking about redemption the journey of redemption and the doctrine of christ starts from abraham not noah not adam are we together whether it's Christianity, whatever kind of religion, the moment they are communicating the doctrine of Christ, the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of Christ starts from Abraham. God called one man to come out of a place called Or of the Chaldeans, Genesis chapter 12, right? He wanted to use his father, Terah, but something happened. And he, the, the, you know, the baton passed on to Abraham and he called Abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the chaldeans and he called him and he said look i am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and i will do certain things with you and abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the bible that represents god's covenant point there are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of god that law did not die with the coming and the going of Jesus Christ. There are still men today that represent new dimensions of God or continuity of his program. Hmm. Are we together? Alongside your encounter 
alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of God in that dimension but this is where Satan cheats a lot of people please listen to me carefully this is something else I'm talking about but we need to understand this God asked me to reiterate these things you know why we honor men we honor men for many reasons number one is the anointing they carry number two the sacrifice that they have with God that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life number three is the spiritual system that they represent when David wanted permission to fight Goliath do you know the question Saul asked he said whose son is this in other words I want to know the tribe he came from so that I know whether this can be possible this boy is too young I'm a king but I need to know where he's coming from so we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy, but there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires but they never lack whether they pray or not even when they are not tithing it's a covenant there is something they are connected to whether they know it or not that affords them those spiritual possibilities <sighs> open our eyes oh god in the name of jesus christ i have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the god of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like god owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. Oh, you better believe it. So that when you look at a man, you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar. When you know that, there will be no room for pride when God begins to give you results. Because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment. Purely an issue of what? Alignment. Spiritual alignment. There was a time, for instance, in living faith, it still happens, where there were strange testimonies, 2005, 2006, creative, those ones were, it's what the Bible calls the walking of miracles, not testimonies, where a man would tell you, I was a cleaner, and by Sunday, the owner of the company said he's leaving Nigeria, and they made me a CEO. Strange testimonies. So you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching. Sleeping. They say in Jesus' name, he never says amen. He's even angry. But something still came on him. With the anger, he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says, you are staying five years in this house. The rent is, is free. And the man says, I don't understand what is happening to me. Two weeks later, they call him and say, there is a job we want to give you. And he says, I don't understand. There is a covenant. When God looks at you, he sees the covenant. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. 
Alleluia. If you know this thing I'm teaching you, you can, you can make, it's not a license to sin. You can make the worst blunder on earth. Quarter to shame. The covenant kicks in. And God says, I remember. <sighs> Jonah! Jonah was running as a rebel. But God used what happened to describe what will happen to Jesus. Jonah! He says the same way Jonah was in the belly of the fish. Was that a good testimony? Yet yeah, Jesus used it. God had Solomon for the sake of his father, David. When Solomon dedicated the temple, he lifted the temple and he said, Lord, I enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray, whether their faith level is there or not, hearken to them. So in the days of Daniel, they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray. Daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith, he's a human being. The truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life. So he opened the window to Jerusalem and he started praying. And listen, that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den. God did not show up because of Daniel. He showed up because of the covenant. What have you enjoyed in your life because of covenant connection? Some of us, every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your, your personal push, which is good. But brothers and sisters, the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life. And if you have to wait till you become strong, you may not even live for that to happen. There are people in Koinonia here, they are not tithing, but they are having strange results. They, even them, they are doubting, they are saying, what's wrong? Something is covering you. It's a covenant. Break every chain. Break every chain. Those who know this do business with God upon the earth and open strange doors. Strange doors. Strange doors. Living faith, redeemed, and MFM. There are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of, of ownership. They can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land. They must give them land as much as they want. It's a revelation. Are we together? Brothers and sisters, some things are not just about fasting and prayer. There is an advantage God placed in the body. And if you are not aware of it, you may never step into certain dimensions. Never step into certain dimensions. I came to show you certain things. God said I should teach it again. If God says I should teach it, it means many of us did not get it. There are certain things in my life I will, I will never suffer and struggle over. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that foolish. I am not that foolish. You see, it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, yeah. break every chain. Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic. He had other sons called the sons of the prophet. Is that true? But he had a strange man who was a farmer called Elisha. Elisha was not a prophet. Elisha was a farmer. He casted his mantle upon him and Elisha started following him. Join other prophets. Listen. And then the Bible says a time came when Elijah, Elijah was about to go to heaven. Is that a normal human being? Is that how you go to heaven? But that's how he went to heaven. That's how you know that it's not a normal human being. He knew where the gate of heaven was beyond the Jordan. He said, I'm about to leave. He knew where to wait for the chariots. Ah. A man was taking fresh air on a mountain. And they came to harass him. He used one of the elements of the supernatural caught fire. He said, I will not just use my mouth. If I be a man of God, let fire come from heaven. He prayed once and fire came. Is that how you pray when you stand? Look at what... Hi. Koinonia, hear what I'm teaching you. Listen. 
when they were about to judge the prophets of Baal, there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them. Not just your personal prayer and fasting. When the prophets of Baal were there, they were prophets under the custody of Jezebel. And look at the mockery. Elijah said, laugh. He said, he said, cut yourself, shout. Maybe your God is sleeping. Like if I am Elijah, I will be fasting. <laughs> Deliver me, oh God. Wipe my tears. For the sake of your glory, I will be writing out the worship songs, looking for somebody to play a cymbal. But here was a man crossing his leg and mocking at them. From morning till evening, he laughed because he knew they were wasting their time. After everything, they caught themselves so that their God will see blood and remember their covenant with him. When they tried singing and praising and it did not work, they danced around the prophets of Baal. They started bringing blood. What is blood? The covenant. Baal, remember our covenant as prophets with you. And Elijah shut the heavens and said, keep calling on him. Then when it was time for Elijah, I thought Elijah would have just said, all right, God, fire, come down. He would have been surprised. He said, give me 12 stones. 12 stones. Listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. The Bible says in the New Jerusalem, it said the gates of the city, there were 12 gates. And the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of Israel. Every one of those tribes represented a dimension of God. And 12 foundations having the name of the apostles, he said, give me 12 stones. And the prophets of Baal were watching. After it, he put a sacrifice. And then he said, pour water. The water was a mystery. He was not just trying to say, so that you don't think I hit fire. Because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm. The spirit, the water, and the blood. So he said, pour water. Afterwards, he lifted his eyes to the heaven. The pattern was correct. Follow me. And he said, oh God. And the fire, the Bible said the fire came, licked the sacrifice, and swept everything. Right? And then hear what he said. The moment that happened, he said, pursue all the prophets of Baal. Don't let one escape and kill them. Hear me, people of God. There are dimensions, there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone. We fool ourselves thinking because we know God, every mountain will just go like that. It's, all things are possible, but they are, they are possible based on the knowledge available to you. If you can see me as I'm going, you will have something. The moment he left and he held the mantle, he would have gone to the well and said, I am a man of God. Pat, he would have been surprised. He said, where is the Lord God? As far as God was concerned, he did not see Elisha. He saw the covenant. Did the water obey? Absolutely. Do you know why Joshua was successful? God transferred a mystery to him. As I was with Moses, as I was, the way I related with him, so I will relate with you. He said, and because of that, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. So when the angel appeared, Joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel. The angel had to explain he would have died. The word of God would have killed the angel. Not the sword of Joshua. He said, are you for us or against us? And the angel said, hold on. Neither. He had to explain. Because a man was running with the word of God. The Bible says, for instance, it says where two or three are gathered, where? In my name. The meaning is as touching my authority. There is a dimension of God that only shows up on that corporate fellowship. You will never have that dimension alone in your room. Fast for 100 days. You will not see those things. That was why the psalmist was crying. He said, early will I seek you. He said, to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. There's something I've seen that only happens when believers gather. I've not seen it. Can you make it happen in my life? Hallelujah. He says, if two of you shall agree, hold my hands, Jimmy, as touching anything, there are certain levels of prayer 
that it's not just about I am alone the veil has been torn I, I'm, I'm alone I can access Christ it's a system there are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree you can just say one prayer that was why the apostles when they were threatening them did they pray individually Acts chapter 4 remember they came together because they understood this it took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost they could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come so when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1 now when the day of Pentecost was fully come he said they were all gathered in one accord that formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come in Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them they came together and said lord behold their threatenings he says stretch forth your right hand now to heal and that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child and the building shook there is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of christ the body of christ is a mystery of possibilities when you understand the mysteries that govern the body of christ you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done Are we together i remember when a few people wrote jam here you were you were testaments of the things marks being added i'm not talking of those 40 40 marks you see people someone will check his jam 197 go and check again 231 how did that happen look let me tell you something when you see a man of god study the systems around his life don't just say this person is anointed Kai, he has power what makes the heaven owe him it's like it's like god god owes certain men of god a debt he must pay even if they call his name joking he has to show up there is something that makes that happen my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Listen. Let me tell you something powerful. Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak and he said, Cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, Luko, I am a prophet. 
in other words i don't speak the way i want so as we stand here whatever you hear me say is what god is saying agreed they said agreed so they brought gifts balaam would have sought god by lifting his face to the hills that's the key sammy said i will lift up my eyes to the hills they know where their help comes from but now balaam used enchantment so that god would not be able to prophesy through him are you getting the story he used divination to invoke spirits so that they will prophesy so balaam stood and after he used those enchantments he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings and he was surprised he moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them he went to another place about to speak and he blessed them and balaam said balak was angry and he said what is all this i brought you to curse them all that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings please watch this and balaam lifted his eyes to check they were on a mountain and he said no i'm a prophet let me look what is the reason why no cause is working and this is what he saw hallelujah and he saw israel abiding in what his tents there was a spiritual formation from the valley israel were wise people they didn't just say let's rest they said ah it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us so let us engage the formation there is a pattern mm. they arranged themselves according to their tribes with the ark of god being at the center and they said let's see who will cause us they kept the card there so when balaam stood at the mountain to cause the ark fought him back and he said i don't know what is wrong i can't cause them i can't cause them then listen to what he said according to their stripes and finally the spirit of god came upon him this is what he said the secret and he took a parable that's how prophets remember hosea chapter 12 i have spoken in similitudes or parables i have multiplied visions he took a parable and he said balaam the son of beor had said speaking about himself and the man whose eyes are open talking about himself had said verse 4 and he had said which heard the words of god which saw the visions of the almighty falling into a trance but having his eyes open verse 5 how goodly are thy tents o jacob and thy tabernacles o israel that's the secret i look at your tent and your spiritual formation and i see you arranged in a way that no cause no enchantment that's why he said no divination no enchantment against jacob it's not just because they are christians please listen to what i'm teaching you now there was a spiritual pattern and literally balaam as a true prophet could not cause them they didn't fight they just could not cause them when it was time in in second chronicles 20 verse 20 Oh well, we read from verse 15 downwards if there's time. They were about to fight. Three kings came together to fight them. And the Bible said they had another formation. Kai. These guys used formations for victory, not stories. They inquired of the Lord, what pattern will produce the result? And they said, let the worshippers be in front. And when the worshippers were in front together with the ark, the warriors were behind he said this is not an issue of sword and they began to sing hearken all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus said the lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17. listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the lord O judah and jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something i'm looking for now listen and the levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the lord of the lord god of israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning 
and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse it says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern it says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone helped to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you either kill the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the holy ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when i come into that body it will be as though i am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of christ it was built in a particular way christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so god is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priest they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we are here we are home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits 
they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came he's one of the popular nigerian directors directors of nigerian film you know and all of that and he told me something he said man of god most of the nigerian films you see us acting the snake we use they are real snakes but what they do is they go to charmers you know these guys are charm snakes so they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen the ring has a pattern it's a language the snake understands that's why sometimes it backfires because those powers expire they must be renewed if at the point of expiration you are the one holding the snake the snake that you were you were in nice romance we would turn and enjoy you immediately are we together patterns so there are men whose lives are patterns you curse them it returns back to you and you are wondering see it is on this basis that you can say i am uncursable now the problem with the church is we say revelations without we we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities i am uncursable in the name of jesus and you find out there's a curse at work in your life clearly everybody knows you are cursed i am not cursed you are cursed we are seeing it it is on the strength of this there is a pattern don't laugh are we together so someone can vow like they vowed to paul and they said paul we will not eat nor drink until you are until you die and paul lived many years afterwards i'm teaching you something you can do on earth that is is like a spiritual formation that will make the Holy Spirit respond to you in a certain way and you will see doors open and you'll be wondering what happened is a pattern Balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern and he said I can't curse them I'm trying I'm making efforts listen I can't tell you how many times on my way to travel people will call me and say apostle I just had a dream are you about to travel i say yes they say please sir don't travel i love you so much koinonia loves you i just had a dream this morning and in that dream i saw a plot and i saw that you had a ghastly motor accident and you died and then i said okay i appreciate now they are not they are not lying they saw it and what they saw was correct but there is a pattern kabarato satayaba David, I'm come and sing a song there, my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say.
Hallelujah. Please sit down. Listen. Brothers and sisters. When it comes to kingdom advancement. Don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone. There are limitations to your personal spiritual life. As far as kingdom advance is concerned. There are certain strategies of witchcraft. That it takes more than you as a person to conquer. It's not that Christ is not king of kings and lord of lords. Please hear me. Is a law. There are formations. There are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body, not your strength alone. If you do not understand this, you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself. Spiritual patterns, formations that make men forbidable on earth. They wanted to curse him. Just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you. And you have been saying in the name of Jesus, I'm uncursable. I agree with you. Potentially. But you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid. Otherwise, you will be shouting, I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken. Are we together? Please listen. Listen. There are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight. I don't know if we can touch all three, but we'll stop somewhere and pray. The first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern i'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with god or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars Listen, please listen. Every man of God, every true ministry called of God has an altar. They may not call it altar. They may call it all kinds of things. Some call it covenant. Some call it altar. I don't care what they call it, but this is what it is. It is a token that represents a covenant between God and that man and serves as a memorial. The altar that was raised in the day of, of um, Noah, when he raised that altar, there was a sign of a rainbow. Is that true? And God gave this as a token. When circumcision itself is a token. I hope you know. When you circumcise a child, it's a revelation that was given to Abraham. Circumcise them. Joshua circumcised them. The power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted, especially in such a wicked world. Koinonia has an altar. You hear us sing that song, my it's nothing diabolic. I don't mean Babala or something, no, that's not what I'm talking about. As a person, 
there are covenants that I've had through my encounters with God that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride. The same way I have gleaned upon the covenant of others with God and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that i can see in my own life please hear me and i want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when abel died when cain killed abel what cried please answer me what cried and he said the blood of Abel cries and the blood is speaking Abel is dead the blood is saying revenge you have to bring vengeance upon Cain and Jesus now says that even his blood too speaks the only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant are we together there are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men. Please listen, listen, listen. I want to give you spiritual intelligence. You don't bind an altar. It was enacted by covenant. It's called the law of displacement. There are two lights. They keep shining until a greater light comes. Then it overshadows them. Are we together? These are spiritual laws so many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming they think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast what they were praying against is what happens maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say look three days i'm praying on the third day drive fast you are looking like a skeleton you are about to break. You just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes. And here the person comes. As if your prayer made nonsense. In the prayer you are shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And the person is just looking at you. And say, keep shouting your Jesus there. And comes to do exactly what he said to do. You know why I know this thing so well? Because it happened in my life. You've heard my story. Wicked spirits will come and oppress me. And come into my room. My own was not even an experience. I see them they see me but I couldn't do anything about it some of you say I shouted Jesus the pastor I shouted well you shouted it well nothing happened please don't laugh I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray are we together we have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body it's not about an individual's personal success there are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had and he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant are we together there are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city there must be breakthroughs so they show up in a city to have a crusade and when they show up to have a crusade people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry because for as long as that individual is there that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has are you getting what i'm saying there are people who personally their prayer life is dead but when they get to the prayer department on Tuesday to pray, you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah. So it is God's system to help you so that even when your spiritual life is down, Satan will still not be able to reach you. Before you come back to life, there is a system that covers you. Altars that we can take advantage of there are men who when they come into a city you know everything shakes it's not by the loudness of the publicity but they come in with the presence they carry they come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave 
We'll find somewhere and stop. I want to pray. My life has changed like day and night because of this truth that I have discovered. I found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life though anointed though a great man of God though having encounters with Jesus at a point in my life there were certain mountains that would not move there were certain doors that would not open regardless of what I did and I said Lord but your word says if I have faith like a monster seed I know that I have faith and then God began to teach me for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick for this cause many do sleep because they cannot discern the body their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit everything is possible but you need to know how to make it possible you need to know how to make it possible This night, looking at me and hearing me by the thousands are men and women who have done certain things alone. You have struggled. Spiritually, you love God. You have held on to some of these principles. But the truth is that door has refused to open. You have done what you know to do. I show you the third key you must engage. It's called the power of alignment to covenants. The power of alignment to covenants. The power of alignment to covenants. God has entered covenants with individuals. He has entered covenants with systems. Please, I can beg you. Some of you are looking for admission. Listen to what I'm telling you and get into school. Otherwise, sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on some things in life will not move just by your personal faith do you know that when Jesus was on earth he was not the only miracle worker please answer me is that true there was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in Jesus' camp but they were still performing miracles not by Baal not Beelzebub and they said, ah, Jesus, this is, this is strange. Ah, I thought you were the Savior. And he said, I paraphrase him. I came to introduce something new. But until the new comes, the old is still valid. There was a way miracles were done in the old covenant. There were people who believed it. There was a priesthood that made it possible. For instance, an angel would come and steer the water. Was Jesus around when it happened? No, but it happened. A particular prophet in the Bible when a woman was sick or someone was sick he made herbs leaves and put it on the legs of the person are we together if you understand what I'm teaching you then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not you have done all you know to do listen stop trying harder the key is not harder the key is step back and look at the body of christ don't look at yourself again look at the body of christ what spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door i'm looking for you can be a man of god full of grace and prayer but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry and you are saying lord we have prayed we have fasted this prosperity thing is not working step back and look at the body of christ a body has thou prepared for me sometimes god can give you just one instruction go to any living faith branch hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that you don't even have to be prayed for the moment you pray for it you go back and god says fine what you have done is called alignment to a covenant and God begins to relate with you the same way he relates with God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. And you will find out mysteriously, mysteriously. Something happened recently. Somebody called me and they had a court case recently. 
And Ejimi, this court case, humanly speaking, was already against the person. There is no human way on earth he would have won that case. And when he called me, I said, tell me the truth. When he told me everything, ah, I said, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Because I, I, I know a bit about legalities. And I know that based on that thing, if he's to spend time in the prison, it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children. But I told him, I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. But if you can believe what I want to tell you, there can be a way out. I told him, I said, I can pray for you. God has given me grace for territories and I want to pray for you. I prayed for that guy. Do you know I got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of, because of fear, he didn't show up in the court. He refused to show up. And later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court. Now, please, brothers and sisters, please, you went to school, you are intelligent. In Nigeria, who does that? <sighs> you reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty. The Bible says Christ is the head of all principalities. He recognizes their existence. So he says your only advantage is that I am the head. Not that you say they are not there. No. It's your Bible. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. But many people say, assume they are not there. Are you kidding? When they refuse Jesus from entering back, they say, who is this king of glory? He had to explain himself. Christ is the head of principalities. He said he has been made above thrones. So he recognizes them. Above dominions. And every name that is named. Not only in this earth. But in the world to come. What do you not know. That is responsible for the devil. Sinking through your life. And making it look like God is not alive. Please hear what I'm saying. A job will not just come because you think you're a Nigerian. There are mysteries. You have done, there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering. This, they've done everything to do. But the key is an alignment. An alignment that opens up spiritual possibilities. An alignment. Those who were in Mina, I'm sure maybe my friend Pastor Petrock is listening. Pitch Rock, you know, I love House on the Rock and all of that. When we went to Mina, Aaron, you were there. The same thing you see in Koinonia. Crowds here, overflow on top and then outside. is alignment. Brothers and sisters, you may be a musician, but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs. You will find out that things are opening. You are a student but you align to somebody who is paying you salary. And they say, no, you must be sleeping with the man. You say, no, I, I, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with God that is respected even by hell. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, what is not at work in your life is still available. It takes humility and alignment. Many people will insult me for what I'm teaching you now because they will think I'm teaching you human worship. God is my witness. I, I, I don't have time for all of those things, but you have to be careful who you listen to. Don't let men do well-meaning to deceive you. There are systems on earth that represent spiritual possibilities. You may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life. Please hear me. Look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body. A body has thou prepared for me. A body has thou prepared. This koinonia that you look at every time, maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey so that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry. If I want fame, there are easier ways. I'm not dull. I can write books. Are we together? access.
to the riches and the blessings of heaven there are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities I don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies hallelujah we're already preparing to buy our land I will not tell you where it is until we buy it some of you will be surprised you will open your mouth and say it's a lie you can't get land like that a property that will swallow CGC how many times in this area because when you catch the keys listen 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 I don't say this to brag I'm challenging you it's, it's not by trying no door opens to shouting it opens to keys God is giving you something now you have been writing jam you are brilliant but it's not working don't stay foolish and say I, I, I know this time around I, I got 250 no are we together possibilities there are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories that's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life to find them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you but as we pray the devil is a liar somebody's door is about to be open rise up on your feet everybody and let's pray We are going to pray three prayer points and I want you to pray it with every, every ounce of strength. No carelessness, no looking around. You are going to cry to God. Prayer point number one. Lord, I acknowledge that I am limited as a person. No matter how spiritual I am. As a pastor, as an apostle, as a prophet, as a teacher. As an individual, I am limited and I come before you with every sense of humility, acknowledging my limitation. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I acknowledge. Lord, I acknowledge. I acknowledge that you have built a system. You have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man. You have designed this mystery called the body of Christ. This strategy called the body of Christ to lift men, to bail them out of captivity. You have designed this mystery called the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we're about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I've prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change. pray outside make sure you're praying those online make sure you're praying So 
let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light so let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light so let hope Rise, darkness trembles in your holy light. Then let hope, yeah. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Yeah. Ha ba la da da So let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Hallelujah. Listen, as holy as man tried to be, there were some things he could not do for himself. So Jesus had to come. And man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ. It's a pattern. There are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others. Not just of Christ, but they have cried the cry for you, so you don't cry again. They have taken the scars for you, so you don't take it again. But if you do not know, Satan will cheat you. There are times you will stand before that Red Sea. Please hear me, just a symbol, please. You stand before the Red Sea, and the Red Sea will refuse to part. You will you will invoke your personal altar. It will not open. Let me tell you, there are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man. You will agree with your wife, your husband. It will not move. When all else fail, switch. Switch. Remember what tribe you belong to. Remember the spiritual possibilities that come. And say, oh God of salvation. Remember, remember, remember. Remember, 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 and all of a sudden, your God will arise, not for your sake. Listen, hear me. I don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith. I can't remember which of them. But there was a woman who had been a faithful titan. I don't know if it's redeemed or living faith. One of the ministries, she testified. And robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband. They stepped into the house. They were with guns. The man was there. His wife was there. All that there was was to shoot. And there was nothing to do. The man just, he knew he was gone. All else failed. And all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground. Remember the covenant. Is it not your house that was built with my money? Is it not souls that are saved with my money? Don't waste your time trying to say one day God will come. No, that one day you can create it. The day the pattern is there. As powerful as Jesus was, his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man. The heavens of Jesus did not open because he was called Jesus. It was open based on the covenant that came down to John the Baptist. And so when John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said, behold the lamb. And he said, that's not the issue. My heavens are closed. And he said, suffer it to be so. I can't neglect the pattern. And when John dipped Jesus and brought him out, there was a transference and God responded. 
the heavens open and he said this is my beloved son please hear me it's not as hard as your life makes it look you just don't know what to do we are going to cry and say lord show me what i must do to come out of this challenge in my presence lift your voice and pray there is always something to do koinonia cry show me oh god what is the secret the missing link to my healing ministry the missing link to bring prosperity to my life Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? There is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope rise. Darkness when losing your own light. Let hope, let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Darkness when losing your own Hallelujah! Listen, we are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now please pay attention. We are about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry the possibilities that your appearance the sacrifices are brought I invoke it upon my life pray the covenant of open doors the covenant of his Shatina glory Access to kings, access to strange favor. Pastors, pray. Let it come upon my ministry, oh God. Pray. Let it come upon my life. Lord, I've written this jam by my strength. I've tried and tried, but I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to make money. By my strength, I've fasted, I've sown seed, I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to get a job, I've tried to get a job. It's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope, let hope, let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. 
the covenant of honor strange honor access to kings access to nobles access to royalties access to power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart all your heart all your heart listen listen see that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come it must be intentional proximity is not connection are we together proximity is not connection i have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you and step into a strange, I show you a deep mystery. Many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you you will come back to this message and it will make sense to you there are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow they have done all they need to do they have prayed there are groups there are all kinds of sincere people around you've done all you know to do listen you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself that's why god put the body did a body has thou prepared a body has thou prepared are we together there are mysteries when a Jimmy shared with me the supernatural birth of his wife I couldn't believe it in minutes she had given birth case closed because there are mysteries you engage are we together please hear what I'm saying you see hope standing you see Aaron's wife standing almost as if they didn't give birth right there is a mystery what you don't know does not mean it cannot work you just don't know how to make it work are we together we are going to pray one last prayer with all your heart every area you know must work in your life listen 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 it pleases the lord when you have testimonies it pleases the lord there are some of us, certain sicknesses are killing us. No, You've taken drugs, you've done everything without your imagination. There are, there, are, there are graces that we have seen. Sometimes, all it takes is recognition to say, Lord, I tap into this grace. I shared with you my story when I went to sow a seed to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko. And when I came out, the Lord asked me, kneel down on the ground, bare ground that ground I laid my hands upon it it's not about idolizing altars and all of that no and he said lay your hands on the ground I laid my hands on the bare ground and the Lord said from this day you have entered the overflow anointing are we together it was an old woman who prophesied upon my life and said my son forever you will walk upon gold that's what that mama told me till tomorrow to whether she's a human being or an angel I don't know I bought sugar cane of 50 naira. Sugar cane of 50 naira changed my destiny forever. Are we together? You join them, you will die like them. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are many arrogant people in our society who believe they know what they are doing. Even when they are quarter to destruction, they will still be bragging. If you are not seeing results for a long time in your life, please calm down and find out what is it. Thank God for the area you are seeing results. But what of the areas where there are no results? We are going to pray. And you are going to cry to the God of your salvation in one minute. And say, Lord, the unction, the grace, 
the unction that must land upon my life now for those doors to open if it did not come through my personal prayer life then i take advantage of this spiritual formation that is in this house i take advantage of this spiritual formation are we praying go ahead and pray i'm about to pray for you but pray the anointing that must come upon my life must come upon my ministry must come upon my prayer group the grace let it come oh god let it come let it come oh god let it come let it come, oh God, let it come. Shakata prakata gara da bala kosoto praskate. Em prakata kata tata po kosoto prakata bala gara bosh. Makata pakarata kasekete. Em praktas kata baska bosoto bali kata. Pareke teke teke tepe kete kotos. Meka praskata barata tia. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Spirit, pray out. Break our walls down. Spirit break out Break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Lift your hands Father I'm about to pray for you Something will come upon your life right now and I want you to believe it in the name that is above all names father it is by your wisdom and by your orchestration you designed the body no one designed it and gave it a blueprint you designed the blueprint of the tabernacle in heaven and you gave Moses and say reproduce it on earth and the moment they built according to pattern your glory came Lord there is a spiritual formation in this house that makes for your presence that makes for influence that makes for honor that makes for effective prayer lives and lord i pray that that grace in no small way by covenant i cry upon you the god of my salvation that tonight oh god you remember your covenant with this house and that you change the lives of people therefore right now i pray i stretch my hands at the count of three I pray that this grace will come upon people right now. Father, remember the covenant one. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Wherever you are, I challenge those mountains. Take the anointing. Challenge the business mountain. Take the anointing. Challenge death. Challenge it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Please help them. Inside and outside, I release that grace. The grace that is an incense from the covenant upon this house. Every spirit that has refused to leave your destiny to move forward right now in the name of Jesus. The same way Balaam could not cause Israel. I command that spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the voice of the altar. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Shake it. Be gone now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see things leaving the stomach of ladies. Many ladies. This is what I'm saying something that looks i don't know what it looks like honestly but i'm seeing it leaving people in strange ways lord let it go 
let it go whatever it represents now 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 let it go every sickness let it go by the power of the Holy Ghost heaven come down hallelujah please lift your hands those on this road just lift your hands those on this road because I just saw a wind move here very very serious formation and the Lord is saying that this grace this grace is for supernatural results that's what is happening I stretch my hands right now right now right now all through all through right now I stretch my hands all through this row remember the covenant of God in the name of Jesus take men to deeper levels acceleration speed 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 Spirit break out Break our walls down Spirit break out Hallelujah One last prayer Listen It is not to be abused But there are many of us our prophetic dimensions are closed. I need to activate it right now. There are many men of God here. You pray, but your, your perception is not powerful. Your, 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 your radar, I mean, come on now. You, you can't be a man of God, a woman of God, and your perception, all your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit are deadened. I want to pray for you. There needs to be a prophetic generation is not just about prophesying to people it's about having a blueprint of the details of your destiny released for you yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two of you come out yeah. Out of her, out of her right now. Let this girl go now. Foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Out. You're free in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Let this girl go now. Thou foul devil. In the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her.
out of her. God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Please. If you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now, thank you, Jesus. Come out of her, out of her, come out. You're free. Same thing, come out of her right now, devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, oh God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is this is this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. 
in the name of Jesus I command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's, 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 this, what's the issue help us with the mic please He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the... Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg. But I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after a, the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What did you say? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. <laughs> That he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on. I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. <laughs> huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss no, this with me? No, Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out. Please. You for the first please. Time but let her come out. If we, if, if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I'm, I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. 
he will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death. And tell your husband where is he working? He worked with the school. He and then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him because this this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing, so you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tithe one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Yeah. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Yeah. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind You are a student? Yeah. I finished my secondary school tonight, so I've been writing jumps since. This is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? Brain problem. Brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person.
will pray for them, but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody. Is it a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person? No. Oh. Is she the okay? Come. Who brought her? Mama. Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now, why are you afraid? Huh? What's what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her, eyes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Yes. Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not like I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands in the name that is above all names 
Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just wanted to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages, Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out! Come out! These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside the fire of God is visiting a few people all those above 30 30 and above who have not gotten married ladies let God visit you now I release that fire shake the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This row. I see an angel standing. There is one lady. The power of God will come upon you strong. That devil of darkness. Enough is enough. Just this row. Because I see the angel of the Lord standing. Lord, let that person come out. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Leave her alone. She will come out. No. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, reke te te te, reke te te te, reke po shoto, batoko po teke, reke te po soko toba, leke po yata, man reke te 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 te, eke po roto pakata. You will 
come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw from Osa. After Did the, the doctors service, tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child. But this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And I'm all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. Hmm. 
It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. We love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? God be sitting. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Amen. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. Amen. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of hope, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things. Parents, be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. This is confusion. 
And this is why God is telling me, this is how your life is. That's why I held you and I was walking. God wants to set you free from serious confusion. You are easily deceived. Anybody can tell you anything. And that's why I was moving around. This does not, this is confusion. You get easily deceived. Anybody just say anything and you believe. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands, both of your hands. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. Sopakapata. Reketebola koso preti kadebosh. You will have a strong heart. The Bible says, Be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? Why oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. And suddenly, you become heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for Him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go. Cares, go. Cares, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place. Tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne let God find you today are you hearing me to Jesus the lamb who was slain hold my hands father find a vessel in this lady do with her what only you can do ignite a fire in her spirit even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
the Lamb who was slain. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, oh, the one precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say, I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, See, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombe ketek liar. Brata bata kata baladaba. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open 
his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated her. This thing, since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka balada bataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, healing anointings, take it, make sure you are receiving it. Songs. Many of you will 
hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace, songs of healing. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension. But consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer requests. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Please don't be in a rush this night. Because what God wants to do, he has not finished. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers, help me and line them up, please. Please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Those of you, those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. Make sure you pass Jesus, your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in your there is a name. healing river. Hey, hey. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch is 
flowing. The moment Jesus, I pray for you, begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Almighty Papa. Pastor William. Mighty things in this place. 
are passing your prayer requests. Those outside, God will soon do something mighty. The Lord is showing me a vision right now. The little rain is here tonight to meet you at the point of your knees. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see healing. I see breakthrough. I see miracle here tonight. Probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing standing right across i see you god cannot allow you to go back the same way it's impossible you didn't come to meet an idol hallelujah rise up on your feet everybody it's a very prophetic moment right now as we pray i'd like to ask the ministers pastor williams pastor, so. please 
if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it. As we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace. The God who says a thing and accomplishes in the life of his children. The I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You're the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request is seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know the 
Let all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days i place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs Receive miracle job for you, for your loved ones. Institutions 
carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is, any kind of academic, whether missing script, you are on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You are doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, the one who does wonders in this place, I declare, step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones, See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Amen. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told it before December 31st, 2013. Come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the grace. disease in this place HIV whatever it is hallelujah infections all kinds of satanic names I declare right now we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names be changed be changed to AA I change it in the name of the Lord receive it receive a change of genotype you will come back with testimonies believe it, receive it everything he made he made it beautiful any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I cause every foul Amen, amen, amen. All 
those who are students and are in final year, I declare, those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them, I want to speak. There are lecturers whose promotions are overdue. Is that true? Is that true? In the name that is above all names, this night we command. Even offices that are not available, we create it for them this night. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph. Tonight, I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level. I connect you. I call for the helpers of your destiny. Financial helpers. Marital helpers. Career helpers. Spiritual helpers. Receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you are your whether building project, whatever it is for you and for your families, you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over 10 years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, let there be supernatural supplies. The beds that brought food for the prophet. I command may they locate your family i open up the heavens over your family in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah one of the things god is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command well that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack. There are some of you who are kingdom financiers. The power of God will come upon you. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Now I pray for everyone. This curse of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray 
let your hands receive wealth that only God can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it is by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor this is one of the things we enjoy in abundance hallelujah I cannot tell you how the favor of God works no man can explain it but I know it works I know it works I am a testament if you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a dime for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god i pray in the name of jesus the favor that is upon koinonia i take it and i release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. i activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it favor Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit hallelujah you cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God you cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid many of you your prayer altars are dead it's not because you don't love god hallelujah many of you one leg in one leg out last year you were on fire this year hallelujah many of our mothers fathers people at home our prayer life our word life we're looking for things that only the word of god can give us but jesus said to martha i said one thing is needful one thing one thing i want to pray for you hallelujah alongside with this i want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit hallelujah Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah.
Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit. Stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three. I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name. Some of you will. Will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus. take it fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. Amen. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. You believe this hallelujah I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside if you've never given your heart to the Lord please keep standing everybody you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hear me inside and outside you are hearing my voice right now you have seen the works of the lord it's time for you to get into a real relationship with god or for some of you you have given your heart to the lord hallelujah but you found yourself derailing inside and outside the lord is speaking to you mother father whoever i want you to leave your seat and come out here right now i want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings 
the lover of your life inside and outside right now leave your seat and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is god can give you a new beginning don't allow the person you came with to stop you this is the greatest miracle another jesus keep clapping keep clapping they are still coming the holy ghost is convicting them inside and outside thank you jesus we will connect you to the maker of your life God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins this night I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him my name is in the book of life I declare that I'm saved the Holy Spirit is in me eternal life is mine from today I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details. And we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around. But we'll send, we'll make arrangements. And I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please, tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We are closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Sas. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.